What's up, people? Today I'm going to give you the lowdown on the new Pro L2 by FabFilter. If by the end of this video you've decided it's a plugin that you're interested in, there's going to be a link right below to take you to a Warp Academy page where you can get more information or hopefully purchase it. Because as we're going to see in this video, it's an amazing limiter that I highly recommend using. But in the meantime, in this video, we're going to go over my top three new features in this awesome plugin, including four brand new limiting algorithms, a unity gain option, and a fully stocked loudness metering section. After you've watched this video, you'll be able to skillfully bus process and master your tunes using these three new features in Pro L2. If that sounds cool to you, let's jump in. Okay, new algorithms. Users of Pro L are gonna know that a key feature in previous versions was its four algorithms. These gave the Pro L four different compression personalities, if you will, from which to choose from. There was transparent, punch, dynamic, and all around. And these were great. They made the Pro L one of the best limiters on the market. Now, however, there are four more which expand the possibilities of what the Pro L can do. There's not enough time, unfortunately, to do a deep dive into all of them, but I'll briefly give you the lowdown. We have modern, and this is actually the new default algorithm. So it's a great all around algorithm, which sounds like this. By the way, this new button here lets you hear only the sound of the Pro L's processing. Then there's the new aggressive option. This is great for loud mastering of EDM, trap, etc. On the complete opposite end of the spectrum, we have Safe. This is great for classical, jazz, and acoustic-based music. Cause we're in your... And then finally, there's the bus algorithm. Bus, as the name implies, is meant to be a bus limiter or a bus compressor. And this is something that Pro-L has never directly done before. In case you don't know, the idea behind bus compression is that you route multiple tracks of the same musical instrument type. For example, all drums or all vocals. You route them all through one channel, and then you control all those tracks, give them some sonic cohesiveness with compression or limiting. This is advanced stuff, so watch closely as I use the Pro L2 to do this to these drums. Overall, they sound good, but dynamically, it's a bit chaotic. Let's throw on the Pro L. Choose bus, and then turn up the gain to squash some of the peaks and give it some limiting. So it sounds better, but that could just be because everything got a bit louder, which will bring me right over to my next favorite feature in Pro L2. Just before I dive into that though, I'd like to invite you to join the Warp Academy community by hitting subscribe and activating notifications. This way you won't miss a beat and you'll get the heads up on new videos as soon as we post them. 
All right, back to my next favorite feature in Pro L2, which is Unity Gain. If we hover our mouse here, we'll see this one one button pop up. This turns on Unity Gain. Unity Gain means that as we increase the gain over here on the left, Pro L will actually intelligently turn down the output volume of the plugin. And it does this because our ears often falsely perceive louder as quote unquote better. And this feature really helps to guard against that. Trust me, it's an easy trap to fall into and I unfortunately often do it myself. So let's try busting these sounds again, but this time with Unity Gain engaged. And you might wanna watch this meter over here if that helps you. That's way too much. So with the Pro-L bypassed, our drums still have the same perceived loudness overall, but the peaks are a little out of control. With the Pro-L 2 on, however, the overall sound is nicely compressed, sits better in the mix, and again, just has some gel to it, some control. I'm not worried about the peaks that might cause problems later with mastering. Okay, let's check out Unity Gain on the master. I'm gonna use the aggressive setting to limit my entire song. So that sounds good to me. I'm not squashing my mix too hard, just using Pro-L for a bit of control. Now that I'm happy with the limiting I'm getting, I'll actually need to disengage Unity Gain and set my ceiling to negative one dB, which is the max true peak level for Spotify and YouTube. Okay, so that's all set. Speaking of Spotify and YouTube, did you know that most streaming services nowadays normalize their volume levels? What this means for most producers is that there's no reason to make your track above negative 14 loudness units full scale or LUFs. If I lost you there, let me give you an example. If you've created two tracks, one super loud, say at negative seven LUFs, and another at negative 20 LUFs, after you upload them, Spotify is actually gonna turn down the volume on your negative seven one and turn up the volume on your negative 20 LUFS one. So they both come out at negative 14 anyway. Long story short, if you're planning on uploading to Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, the best loudness to aim for is negative 14 LUFS. Luckily, Pro L2 makes this process very easy with their new loudness section. You want to make sure you have integrated selected as well as negative 14 LUFs. Again, integrated, negative 14. Now you're going to need to play your song from the very beginning all the way to the very end. Okay, and I just played my whole song through. If your meter here reads negative 14, you're all set. Print, upload, all that. But if it reads over negative 14 like mine, 
you're going to want to lower your gain on the Pro-L and try again. Alternatively, if you're under negative 14, you're probably going to want to increase your gain. Now, this process does take a bit of time. You're going to have to play your song multiple times, but it's going to ensure that your song sounds best when it's streamed. All right, those are my three favorite new features in Pro-L2 by FabFilter. But trust me, there's a lot more there to check out. You can head over to Warp Academy right now to read more about it or to purchase it. Just click the link below. Until next time, happy producing. Yeah.